I'm home. Izuku? You called while you removed your shoes by the front door. Not a word. No reply. He shrugged, though you wondered about Midoriya, recalling his earlier call informing you that he was on his way from work. Huh, maybe he got caught up with something. You murmured, removing your jacket and throwing it on the couch. You sighed inwardly with a smile, removing pieces of your clothes on the way in towards the bedroom. It had been a long day, in and out of the office. After a reconnaissance mission in inner Musatafu, you needed to rid yourself of the gunpowder you felt all over. By the time you reached the bedroom, you were already down to your undergarments. You hummed while you stretched your limbs, gathering a few clean clothes before you made your way to the bathroom. A nice shower was what you needed. And then binging something on stream made for a relaxing afternoon, at least until you heard from Midoriya. This did not occur often, but dating the number one came with compromise. Even more so now that you were engaged. You were more thankful that it hadn't made the news, unlike Bakugo and Todoroki's engagement. Your thoughts, however, were rear-ended once you opened the bathroom door. Eyes met by the warm, moist condensation in a very naked hero with nothing but a towel wrapped around his hips. His scars were bare to see, his skin freshly drenched from what you assumed was a hot shower before he turned his emerald eyes onto you. Frozen by the sight, you stood, speechless. You had seen him many times, but it had always amazed you about the sheer size of his body, the scars that painted his story. And despite all of this, his face, relaxed and drenched, still with this boyish charm. Izuku? You softly spoke, catching his eye slightly drowsy from the warmth of the bathroom. Oh, those sleepy bedroom eyes. Hey, cutie. He spoke, almost sultry for a brief moment. That was the shower talking. <clears throat> Are you done? You asked while you cleared your throat, your clothes hugged tightly against your chest. You watched Midoriya walk towards you, hand on his towel before he leaned against the doorframe, only allowing a small opening for you to slide past, should you decide to do so. You couldn't tell if your cheeks were burning from the fluster or if the air was getting to you, before he closed his face onto yours, kissing your cheek. I could be, or I could have another one with you, he teased, watching your eyes widen a little. Have you been speaking with Kaminari lately? You asked after a moment of silence. Then that happy smile crossed his face. His cheerful old self. <laughs> Very funny. He replied, allowing you access into the bathroom. Shower's all yours. I'll start dinner. Midoriya walked past, his hulking figure making its way to the bedroom. You couldn't help but stare. It never got old, ever since you first laid eyes on his body. I would have agreed to your invitation, you know. You spoke with a smirk before waltzing into the bathroom. You didn't witness it, but you heard Midoriya's hitch in his voice before you shut the door. You checked on the time, knowing you'd arrived earlier than what Bakugo had planned. Yet having to wait 10 minutes outside of his apartment was becoming a concern. Bakugo was a man of timing, not so much as his former classmate Ida, but never was he this late in responding to anything. With the exception of his reunion, you recalled, but neither of you were in a rush for anything today. Katsuki? You called from the front door. 
hearing nothing, which was odd. You fished out for your keys, picking through them until you found your key to his apartment. Ever since his proposal, the both of you had agreed to have a copy of each other's apartment key. It made sense to do so now, both personally and professionally. Too many times had there been a few missions either of you crash at each other's places. Your recollection of your recent ones brought a wry smile to your face. Opening his front door, you peeked inside to find nobody. You recalled texting him earlier about meeting him today, reciting the words in your head. Just come over, lightweight. I had a bad day. That was code. And you knew what for. Again, Bakugo wasn't the greatest in sharing his feelings, but if he needed comfort, he demanded it. You stepped into his studio apartment, tapping your toes to rid yourself of the slight strain on your ankles. The new braces were still getting broken into, as was your strength training, sending soreness in your calves and your shoulders. Of all days, it was one where every part of your body was radiating tightness, constantly rolling your joints and stretching as much as you could. You eyed around the empty apartment to only hear the distant sound of a shower running momentarily before it stopped. It caught your attention when its doors opened, revealing a very wet, smouldering Bakugo with nothing but his towel around his waist. His hair sat in a mess atop his head, something you originally thought was impossible for all these years, yet his face looked serene, almost relaxed until his steely gaze turned on you. Your eyes darted between his red stare and his chest, littered with scars here and there. And still very wet. I... should have waited. You cautiously spoke while you stepped backwards towards the front door. Why? You're here now? Gruffly commented Bakugo while he walked towards you. Well, now I feel rude for abusing my privileges with the apartment key, so... Bakugo immediately shut the front door behind you, leaving you trapped between it and him, his skin still radiating with the heat from the shower he had moments ago. You pressed against the door, more so to avoid his wet skin, yet his face edged closer to yours, spotting your eyes still staring at his chest. What's the matter? It's not like you haven't seen this before. He teased with a smirk. Well, yeah, but maybe you should be a host and make yourself decent. You suggested. You said you had a bad day. I did. He purred with his lips close to your ear. But this is making it so much better. Your eyes turned away from the embarrassment before he pulled himself away to kiss you deeply, feeling the moisture still linger from his skin. You felt his chuckle reverberate through you until he walked away, leaving you by the door, dumbstruck. Get comfortable on the couch, Twinkle Toes. He ordered warmly while he walked back into the steamy bathroom. The boxes began to climb the more you brought them in from the truck, wiping the sweat from your brow with a sigh. It took the weekend, but all the heavy lifting was organized by Todoroki while you brought the smaller items from your last place into his townhouse. Many months had passed with conversation between the both of you about moving in together, one that was suggested by Todoroki. Now engaged to the pro hero, you had discussed what items to keep and which ones to offload, only to have them stored somewhere, courtesy of Todoroki. Closing the front door, you felt relieved it was a quiet Sunday afternoon. Yesterday was a circus from the media and paparazzi, chuckling at Todoroki's reaction when they tried every attempt to take sneaky photos of you moving in with him. Hell freezing over. Literally. 
Now all you wanted was to wash off the dust, sweat, and grime. You could feel your hair crawling away while you looked around the townhouse, half filled with boxes of your things. A shower felt like a great idea. You remembered the floor plan, where everything was, and Toroki had been very open about using anything whenever you needed or wanted. Without another thought, you made your way to the bathroom, stripping your clothes while you did. Todoroki was still at work and wouldn't be arriving at the doors until the next hour. Just enough time for you to wash up. Now down to your undergarments, you reached for the handle of the bathroom door, turning and pushing it open to be hit by the heat immediately. As if the sweat on your skin was already a nuisance. The moisture in the air and he made it feel even more uncomfortable. Then again, why was the bathroom so humid? Through the heat, you peered to spot a tall figure by the vanity mirror, his long hair clinging onto his back while he fixed his towel across his hips. Todoroki stared at you, aloof despite his topless form. His fingers ran through his long locks, still wet from the assumed shower he had recently enjoyed. When did you get home? You asked immediately, trying to avoid the squeak in your voice. Not long ago, he voiced calmly. But I didn't see you. Maybe we missed each other. I'm leaving now, you announced while you started to swing the door shut. Why? Questioned Todoroki, catching you from shutting the door. You eyed him still wet from the shower with a small smile on his face, his eyes drowsy from the steam. We just got here. He mused, still with smiling bedroom eyes. I can help you put your things together. When you get yourself dried and dressed and not so... You bit your lip trying to push those thoughts from your head. I need a shower before we start unpacking things. Suddenly, the door swung open, taking you with it until you stood before Todoroki's bare chest, still holding onto the towel that tied tightly around his hips. It wasn't new to you, but barging in without checking first was already a novice mistake. And in your undergarments. All you found was that smile on his face, leaning in to kiss you atop the head. Okay, love. He agreed while he walked past you through the door. Take your time. You couldn't help that fluster from his body heat and the shower he recently had. At the very least, you weren't worried about washing away the filth from the move, closing the door behind you.